councillor demanded posters advertising a Jubilee street party to be taken down, claiming that the fly posting is a scourge to the community. Councillor Pennyloffs acted after spotting the laminated posters which were tied to lampposts, but residents on Swift Street have responded by erecting signs for the Jubilympics event in virtually every garden and window on the terrace row. More on this story in this week's Chronicle. A father of two died in a house fire on Treeland's Garber on Monday. 53-year-old Lester Ball, who regularly helped out at his favourite pub in Pogmore, succumbed to the fire despite the efforts by firefighters and paramedics to save him. It is believed that the fire was caused by an electrical fault in his fridge. A young filmmaker is hoping to showcase the talents of Barnes' skateboarders in a series of short films. 21-year-old Liam Lawton of Upper Sheffield Road, Barnsley, goes to Lincoln University and will start filming this weekend. A fundraiser was given a knockout blow when a life-size signed photograph of Ricky Hatton up for auction was stolen. The thief threw in the towel and returned the cardboard cutter of the former world champion to the Holiday Inn in Doddeth where the fundraising event took place. This weekend marks the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebrations and with events and street parties taking place all over the borough, Chronicle Online went out to find out how the people of Barnsley were planning on celebrating. Well, we're going out to party, aren't we? Yeah, going to Stereo. Uh, we're out town. Uh, she's off to a barbecue and uh, I'm joining mates on a street party. Mum's doing the um, big lunch on Sunday, so we're, we're, all the family's going to my mum's for afternoon tea at my mum's. A special Diamond Jubilee supplement is free with this week's Chronicle. And finally, a retired guide dog needs an operation to help her arthritis. Flick, the 10-year-old Labrador, needs surgery to remove loose bone in her back legs, which makes it difficult for her to walk. Owner, Judith Evans, who is registered blind, said it was her turn to help the dog and is trying to raise money for the charity that will pay for Flick's surgery. To donate, call 0870 600 2323. For more on these stories and for all the latest news from around the borough, be sure to pick up your copy of this week's Bansley Chronicle. I'm Kim Little for Chronicle Online.